Hey everybody, BlockSquad1000 here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Portal Stories Mel. I know that this is coming out of nowhere because you guys are expecting me to do a Let's Play of Super Mario Sunshine next, but I just- I couldn't resist doing a Let's Play of this game. I just finished playing this game, like, an hour ago, and it is incredible. Trust me, guys. If you haven't heard of this game, or at least haven't tried it yet, you are seriously missing out. Anyway, so let's get started right now. Um, anyway, so this game is a mod for Portal 2, um, and it's pretty good, actually. I mean, like, it's probably the best Portal 2 mod yet. Um, out of Thinking with Time Machine, Aperture Tag, and this one, this is definitely the best one. Anyway, guys, yeah, I just finished playing this game, and I have to say, this is so good. I just, like, I love it. Um, and so I wanted to do a Let's Play of it, and yeah, I know I promised Super Mario Sunshine next, but I'm gonna do this one. I might Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine alongside this one, but anyway, here we go. It's about to start. Here we go now. So then, Chapter 1, 1952. Yep, it's 1952, guys. The Cape Johnson era. Anyway, let's, let me just listen. Is this thing on? Yes, oh, it's okay. on. <coughs> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. Yep. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. Yep, I, I am. I so am. You, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making shower asbestos laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of. Uh. Wait. Where are we again? We're in Michigan! Michigan. Uh. Also. Okay. This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but wow. that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be an Aperture Science Innovator. It's a crew! We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. Cool. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the nice. train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. This You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. This now, get ready to do some science. Chief Johnson keeps interrupting. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Okay. Enjoy the ride. Anyway, so Cave Johnson is actually voiced by Harry101 UK. He's a really, really cool uh, YouTuber. He does all sorts of portal animations and songs and stuff like that. And uh, he also helped with Aperture Tag. And uh, another thing is that. Um, what was it? Uh, I can't really remember. I was gonna say something about Cave Johnson. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he's voiced by Harry Culligan, uh, Harry101 UK. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, go here. Here we go. Okay, think about that for a second. Yeah, there are humans in this. this is, that's so cool, Does isn't it? Have an extra o There's before humans. Alright, listen to me. Pack your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. You're fired. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, guys, here we go. This is Aperture Science in 1952. It's very industrial looking. So then, here we go. And of course, the map ends there. So, yeah, th this. This mod is actually like a full-length game, I guess you could call it that. I mean, this game, uh, the first time you play it should take around 6 to 10 hours. That's what they estimated. And it's really cool because you actually play as Mel. Mel is the was actually the person in the beta of Portal 2. You were actually going to play as Mel and not Shell. And this is like the story of Mel, I guess. I guess this is what Portal 2 would have been. But a now, little bit different. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. 
up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Three minutes. Oh my god. Okay, I admit it, the writing in this game is very, very clever. Uh, I, I have to applaud the developers of this mod for that. Uh, and here we go, we get to see what Aperture was like in 1952. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete, on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up the dents in the wall because someone was too hands on. Yep, isn't this so cool, guys? This is actually like a, like a complete town that was built on top of Aperture's salt mine. Because in 1952, Aperture was built on a salt mine and stuff like that. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> on record. Uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, everything here looks all 1952-ish. I really, really like uh, this. Uh, you see, unlike a lot of Portal 2 mods, uh, this Portal 2 mod actually uses a lot of uh, custom assets and stuff like that. So there's lots of models that are featured only in this game, uh, which I thought was really, really cool. And So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my no. green car said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Okay, so, here we go guys. We are about to see one of my favorite parts of this entire game. Um, yep, I actually, I actually really, really like this part. It's very, very magnificent, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, basically, I don't know, I just, I really, really like this game because, uh, as you can tell, I've already beat it, and I already know what it's like, and so, I guess we'll find out what happens, uh, as the series goes on, uh, and why I like it so Here much. Here at Aperture, we're like always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. They have no when face! When the encounters told me not to buy a salt mine and do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. Here if we you go, guys. If you something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? Dang. I came up with this. Yep. It's going here. The Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. He said it for Each me. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. And it's under construction. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my ass. I get Black Mesa. Anyway, of course. the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I More hire people. a flyer as I please. <clears throat> First of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Cool. Uh, which we are heading to right now. Uh, that's actually what sets up this entire, uh, this entire friggin' game, actually. This whole problem with the, uh, with the, uh, the relaxation vault. You'll find out what happens. Uh, probably by next episode, I guess. Anyway, so, here we go. We're going down the long elevator. This reminds me a lot of the introduction to Half-Life 1. That's what I was gonna say at the beginning of the episode that I forgot about. This really, really reminds me of the introduction to Half-Life 1 with the long train ride. When you ride. get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry though, our science boys will get you out shortly. 
You'll only be on for a few minutes, uh, an hour at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry, we ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Making science! You are. Anyway. So yeah, like I was saying, is that, uh, it's, it, I don't know, it just really, really reminds me of the introduction to Half-Life 1 with the long train ride and then the long everything, and it just takes a while for you to actually get into the game. But it really, really feels cool because, like, the way everything is working, like, there's just this huge thing going on, it shows all of the behind the scenes of Aperture Science in 1952. I just thought it was really, really cool how that works. And so, we have arrived. And, of course, there's another cup, because they need another map to load. I also really, really like how they use the vintage cars. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, just a neat little detail. Um, so, yeah. 1952. This is what science was like in 1952, I guess. So, then... So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> crazy and Harry. Six signs, boys, disappear because of him. Is that supposed to be Cave Johnson? That does not look like Cave Johnson. Uh, trust me, that really does not look like Cave Johnson. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, this is what happens. We are going to go inside of this relaxation vault. Don't worry, those turrets won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Those turrets won't kill you! Down. Crazy Harry likes me. Yep, it's totally normal for there to be just, like, turrets here that'll just shoot you. And there's another picture that does not look like you've jumped- That's exactly the same as that photo. Like, do they just have, like, the same photo of Cave Johnson everywhere? Anyway, here we are, guys. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the desk ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Carolyn! Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. And so here we go, guys. 